What about genius? You know, that sort of uh, cliche saying, like the madness and genius, that they kind of dance together. Uh, what about if the thing we see as disorder is actually genius, unheard or misunderstood? Well, here again, the numbers help us. And here's where being rigorous and quantitative actually really helps. If you look at disorders like autism and bipolar disorder and eating disorders, anorexia nervosa, for example, these, uh, you know, particularly bipolar and anorexia, these can be fatal. They can cause immense suffering, but they are heavily genetic, all three of these. And What's very interesting is each one of these three is actually correlated positively, positively, with measures of intelligence, of educational attainment, and even of income. And so you look at this, it's severe disorders in many cases causing quite immense morbidity and mortality, and yet they are positively correlated at the population level with positive things. Can you say the, the three again, autism? Yeah. Autism, anorexia, and bipolar disorder. Bipolar, right. What's that book? I forgot the book name, but uh, is intelligence a burden? <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, you know, people can get into trouble when they think they're smarter than they are, I will say that. I don't know. Sometimes, like, it, it, in the deepest meaning of that statement, I think ignorance is bliss. I'm a big fan of Prince Mishkin from The Idiot and um, Alyosha from Brother Karamazov. Mm -hmm. Optimism can be seen as naivety and, and dumbness, but I think it's a, it's a kind of deep intelligence. <laughs> Maybe inability to reason uh, sort of about the mechanics of the world, but instead kind of feel the world. And it seems like that's a one of the paths to happiness. There is how much you think versus how much you feel. This comes up all the time. In medicine, we encounter this all the time. When you, day after day, you encounter this, you know, the, the, the abyss of suffering from patients. How much do you let yourself feel? Or how much do you make it abstract and, and objective and, and try to make it clinical? And that range, how you're able to move yourself on that, on that spectrum is very important for survival as a physician. Uh, and the way you, you protect yourself and your feelings turns out to be very important.